Right now, I know everybody is really really hyped over this or you know, work themselves up to an excitement over this blaster the... what's that? The pilot I think? Okay There is a lot of significant difference between this pilot and the uh, knockout Now the two of them, you can see that they are very very similar but one thing good about this versus that is that it actually shortens reloading by a lot I'll show you why The knockout reloading is like that First, you gotta open the breech Put in the dart, sorry, the ball The rival foam ball that is Close it Close it inside there Close it up like that And it's ready to... The pilot system works like this Pull the charging spring This thing disengages itself Straight away Put the ball in Close up Okay, this one doesn't, does that. doesn't do that So yeah, it's ready to be used As you can see just now The two demonstrations of the two different blasters The knockout And The Pilot So you can see both of them are very different so I can re-itinerate again how it works Put in a rival ball Close up Ready to use Next one The pilot Put in the rival ball Close up Ready to use Oh wait! There's an additional feature. Suppose you need to ease the spring. Okay, here it goes. You can ease the spring. That's the difference. As compared to the previous knockout. Now this thing is charged, so you can see it's ready. The spring is charged to use. But in order to ease the spring, you do close the palm over the put a palm over the muzzle to make sure that. No, you don't get an empty discharge or accidental discharge So to muffle or cushion the air as it fits it So that's the downside for having this But of course, this is a prior model So you can't really blame for its lack of innovation or lack of features It is what it is So ultimately, I will always say familiarity with your item